I'm serious, that's the backing plate for the bobstay. While our decision to re-rig the boat was due to age, we still had the original 1985 rod rigging on the boat, we were really surprised at some of the corrosion and things we found when we finally pulled all of the rigging apart. continuing the rigging saga and one of the concerns we have is these are our deck connections here for our lower our upper our other lower shroud and now we're about to take them all off <laughs> I know we're kind of crazy like that but before we could move forward with replacing the rigging we had to take everything apart to see what could stay and what needed to be replaced here as you can see we've got these deck plates here this is where our pins go in for our turnbuckles and I pulled most of them we got a couple left here this nifty little trick here this is just to protect the deck this is what Brandon showed us of course I was a little skeptical as to taking these off because they were really really bedded in and they seemed almost more trouble to take off than they were worth going all this trouble to pull the the uh, rigging off and replace it just seemed kind of stupid not to go ahead and rebed these while we we're in there so he's right it would be stupid to re-rig without pulling and inspecting every piece now these pieces the deck shroud connections on the deck were connected to tie rods and chain plates below and these were not easy to take off. Nor were they easy to get to. Most required a team effort between Philip and I, one of us on the bolt side and one of us on the back, unscrewing the nuts. Others were tucked away in tight lockers and even jutting through the shelves. She's in our last chain plate. Right there. We probably looked like apes trying to figure out a computer getting some of these out. It was just hard to determine which way to push it, pull it, and how exactly to maneuver the rods out of these tight spaces. Sometimes we just had to get creative with it. And then other times we had to make some serious modifications. This guy here would not come out without disassembling the cabinet. Our fix? Cut the hole bigger. Who do I blame this on? Mike, because it was his idea. I don't know if Mike right, but I think I would take me a, a jigsaw or something and just open up, slot this. Just, you just gotta get it big enough to slip that, through, that square block through. Well, that's what I we just have to, no, the Let the cutting begin. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna need to subpoena the entire. Or a slit? You said the slit. I think the slit. You think the slit, Mike? I hope no, I disagree. Mike disagreed. He said block. block. What? I am going to need someone help me. No, you do what you It's your boat. You do it the way well, you Well, the slit do. may have to be. Your boat. Shit. Hey, kid, that wasn't too bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, now if we can get I mean, it. I can make it look a lot better, but I. Yeah, we want to make it look better. Bigger, just pretend but... like you're a dentist. Yeah, just keep taking out as much cavity as you need. It sounds like a root canal to me. But this place. Putting up our boat, man. Shit's crazy. <laughs> it was kind of crazy, but it was important that we pull all of these off because we needed to inspect each chain plate all the way around the back and what was visible. as well as the block head that connect to the deck and the head of the tie rod. Wow, nice. 
Now, if you're thinking, those look nice, why replace them? I'll tell you. That's what he's going to do. He said, you polish the shit out with the dot on it. If there's no cracks, there's nowhere crevice corrosion or anything, don't worry about it. Yeah. Because you, it will be obvious that there's a problem. Yeah. Yeah, everybody else is all in step three room, it's got to be replaced. Yeah. Which if it was, I would 100% agree with you, but for this, just because I know from all my research that the rod, and that's that's one of the big weak points with rod, is rod will not tell you when it's going to... But you can penetrate. send it off and have it recertified, though, can't you? Um, you can die, you can do dye penetrant testing, you can also do x-ray, but it's not, it's really, it's, there's it's no foolproof, there's no foolproof way. Aside from replacing it. So that was our decision. Replace all of the tie rods and the backing plates below deck. And we definitely were of the mindset it was the right call when we found this. All right, Sunday afternoon update. We're still we, way behind. We're still wrestling. The port side, lower aft rod plate. Can I get more specific for you now? Yep, it's the backing plate for the deck. Deck connection. Fucking glued on there! Annie's been wrestling it, I wrestled it, now she's back wrestling it. Alright, get this deck plate off, the backing plate, and I'm really glad that we did not start with this tie rod first, because it was unbelievably difficult. Um, I'm gonna try and get it out for you. I'll probably have to maneuver this a little bit. As you can see here, this is the backing plate here. Um, there's tons and tons of corrosion. You can see the rod head's probably really corroded in there. It's not even moving. And you can see it looks like there's some bend in the rod, and I don't think that's meant to do that. I don't know, but it's not in good looking shape, so. That's a reason to redo your rig. Is there a reason to pull everything? Because this would have been, this was hidden, we can't even see it. And that's the problem, is you don't see it unless you pull it. So, that's what we could have going on at the stern, all on the back stave, back in plate, that even though this looks pretty decent, you can't see behind the bolts. Mm-hmm, so. no wonder that was so hard too. And then you can see. Yeah, definitely glad we decided to pull everything apart. Especially when the next backing plate we removed looked even worse. I'm gonna try and take off the chain plate for the bob stay. You can see that guy. This guy right there. Four bolts. While everything was looking pretty good on Philip's end outside with the chain plate, I can assure you that was not the case inside the chain locker. I don't, but thanks to Brandon, we did find good use for that corroded old part. So, lesson for the day, if you're going to re-rig, be sure to pull and inspect there everything. There you go. Ah, jeez. You got it. Yeah. Lord have mercy. It's just in there. All yep, right. that's it. See, you got two pieces there. Yeah. All right. Wait, that's not fun. That's not fun. <laughs> I'll get my the last one. Hurts. Your face hurts. I can't feel my face. And bonus lesson. You all right? If you're going to use a hammer to do it, it try and be careful. <laughs> Don't try this at home, so, kids. Get him a clipboard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. You're only messing up your teeth. We just got to have a clean bill of health. Ooh, man. Did you hit your hammer? Did the hammer hit you? Now it hit me. Slow down now. Well, it's just bushes, I just went clonk. <laughs>
That's what I did. Where's the clipboard? Getting ocean flame going. <laughs> we ain't got no workers. Oh, that's funny. Liking the videos? Awesome! Go to havewindwilltravel.com where you can follow on the blog, check out my books on Amazon, or help us give the gift of cruising on Patreon. Get inspired and get on board. I feel movement. I need to do the raptor maneuver. <laughs> can I find the pin on foot? You don't drop it with it running. My <laughs> friend <laughs> maneuver. No. Brandon kept saying that about the grinding wheel. He's like, don't drop it down in there, just go right through your hole. You just keep grinding away. Like, shut up. <laughs> it was in the water at the time, so I was like, shit. I'm pushing the wrench, but the nut's going the other way. I'm going like this. Like which? Oh, that was recording. <laughs> I'm that big of an idiot. Yeah. Pockets. like mar protection. You don't mar your dick up. It's all the hammer work. You save it. My face hurts. <laughs> I punched myself in the face of the hammer. <coughs> I ain't even socked in the jaw in a long time. That shit hurts. <laughs> Be careful, GoPro.